In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you my take on Rob Mead's gutless frog. I call it the zero frog, because it looks like it's number zero at times. It's weedless, it's very easy to tie. There's really only two ingredients that go into it. And I'm gonna show you what you need. To start off with, you need some hooks. Let's go with the Matsuo America J-Band worm hook. I've updated my tying style for this, so this is the new hook. Discard the old YouTube video. A body of the hard to find Rainey's large float foam. This is yellow. I picked this up on sale luckily at Hunter Banks in Asheville, North Carolina. I cleaned them out. Then you're gonna need some round rubber legs, medium. These are chartreuse or just bright yellow if you ask me. For tying this, you're gonna need thread, not too particular, chartreuse, 210 denier, Danville flat wax, Zuddy's leg puller. Matt Zudwig designed this. It's just basically a needle. The last ingredient is going to be Bob Smith Industries Super Gold Foam Safe. See that? Foam Safe Super Glue. And if you want epoxy, let me show you how to tie this. It won't take too long. I'm going to take my hook. In my regal vise, I'm gonna start my thread right behind the J. Benefit of this fly, there's really not a whole lot of scissor work involved. I pre-measured my foam. So what it does is it reaches right there, just a couple wraps behind the eyes, two, three, four. And then a couple wraps in front. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna half hitch that. I'm not gonna super glue it now because that glue takes a while to dry. And it'll drip and get on everything. I'm done with the scissors. Cut that off right there. Now what I'm gonna do is take my leg puller and pop this out. Down about the five o'clock position, pop a hole in it. I'm going to take my pre-measured, about five strands, it's about all that fits through the leg puller, and pull. There you go. Then we can adjust that later. At about the seven o'clock position, pull, put the legs through again. And there you go. I'm gonna pull these to straighten them all out. Try not to tear a hole in your foam. Looks like I missed one leg. All right, so there we have our legs. Now we're gonna take this hook. This is one of the new tricks. Put it through those rubber legs. That's gonna help keep it flush and flat. We're gonna take the leg puller again, stick it through. And we're gonna take a shorter strand of rubber legs. So I've designed this for large mouth, small mouth, and of course, we're still trying to catch a snake head on it. You'd be surprised that bluegills will destroy this. All right, so that's basically the fly right there. I'm gonna clean up the head a little bit. Just trim off this doodad. Some people put eyes on them. I don't know why, it's not really needed. So there you have it. That is uh, my take on the gutless frog. It's weedless, it's super lightweight. I'm still trying to catch a snake head. Now let me show you where I'm gonna put that super glue. I don't want this to all separate here. So I'm gonna put a couple dollops. Make sure there's nothing underneath this is gonna drip on. This is uh, quite a viscous glue. I'd almost suggest you put this in like a container and then just use a bodkin and a little bit right in the middle there. Sorry. And like I said, it's gonna run through. So you can just kind of manipulate it. Now what I would do is take two part epoxy, mix it and then lather it all over here. That's your weak part in the fly, right in here. Well, that's your gutless frog. Put this in a safe place before that glue dries. You don't want to drip on anything. 
It's pretty cool looking, right? I had no idea how to tie this, so I had to figure it out myself, and this is where I am now. I'm going to put that back. See, I'm already stuck together. Put that back here before I make a total mess and stick something in my forehead. All right. Any questions, you can find me online. I sell these for half the price you can get them online from Umpqua. Hit me up. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave some feedback. Go listen to the podcast on iTunes. Just type my name in. Give me some stars. Lots of good information there.